What is going on everyone? Welcome back on Block Gems. So tonight I want to offer you a follow-up video on the conversation that we already had uh, yesterday about the general NFT market update, the general NFT market summary. And it's going to be a quick one, but before we jump into the content, I remind you to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you like the video, and also feel free to join the uh, Discord community, which you can find a link to in the description down below. In the Discord community, you will be able to download the Outlook for 2022, a free PDF where I discuss my thesis for 2022 and where you can find the best alpha uh, the projects, uh, the strategies, and a lot of valuable content that I put down in order for you to be more successful in conducting your own researches. Now, let's jump into the content, guys. Uh, if we look at the chart right now, we see that uh, this indicator is flashing greedy. Yesterday, when we uh, first talked about this, uh, these that very indicator was on high greed. So it was at 81% versus 74% right now. And one of the things that I said, not in this video, but in the videos that I, in the video that I published a few hours earlier, is that uh, the market, actually the price for blue chip NFTs was really, really high. So the market was really overheated um, when it came down to very famous names, blue chip names, the mutant apes, the bored apes. And we uh, covered this topic. We looked at the numbers. We uh, looked at a 16 uh, uh, ether floor price for the mutants, 73 for the bored apes. And one of the things that I said is that entering on a trade right now would have entailed a lot, a lot of risk. And I was very, very clear about this point. I really said, uh, of course, we are on a green wave, but the blue chips are already very expensive. They got rich. And as much as what we saw today could be just a short-term correction, uh, if we go and look at the prices that are on the market right now for the blue chips, we see that there was a correction. And uh, one other things that I covered yesterday in one of my videos, I said, uh, you can find that as these blue chips are becoming more and more expensive, are pricing a lot of people out. Uh, so maybe a lot of money is not coming in because uh, the people that would like to buy them cannot buy a fraction of an ape unless they go uh, into those very special uh, systems such as NFTX and so on and so forth. So th for the vast majority of people that would like to buy these uh, items, if it gets too expensive, they just cannot buy them. You cannot buy a fraction of an ape as easily as you can buy, buy a fraction of an ether. Uh, so they will move their funds uh, to other bets that are less expensive. And I stated this very clearly. So what happened with the doodles? They, they increased in price a lot. Why? Because they are a semi-blue chip, or you can even call uh, the doodles a blue chip in, in their own right. Um, and other bets as well that were cheaper started to pump as well. Now, another thing that I said is that uh, a lot of alpha could be found in those OG projects uh, that came out uh, last summer that had a very good run up, but then somehow went out of fashion and people didn't like. Now, I still believe that. And uh, I wanted to pose your attention also on another phenomenon. Uh, the uh, correlation, actually the inverse correlation between Ether price and NFT blue chips price. So in general, if we go and look at the last month, uh, the Ether price has been going down. Okay, this is a clear downtrend, uh, just stating the facts here, not that I'm happy about it, but just stating the facts. And as the price of Ether went down, we saw the price of the bored apes, the price of the mutants, going up and also the price of other projects going up, especially OG projects. Um, this phenomenon is also true in reverse. So basically, whenever Ether is going up, especially when it's going up sharply, you will see that the NFT projects that are big names, uh, so OG projects, will tend to 
not do too well. Okay, will tend to uh, enter us a, a little bit of a correction, a little bit of a downtrend. Um, and we have seen this uh, inverse correlation multiple times already throughout uh, last year. And I've talked about this point extensively uh, in the report. So if you download the report, I can, um, you, you will be able to see uh, how this phenomenon looks like uh, and also which kind of charts I correlate and why. So guys, I hope that this video was informative for you and that it helped to conduct your own research. If that is the case, remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and also join our Discord community. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.